What's going on ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Actually, let me not do that because people will click off the video. Hi, it's me. I'm not going to pretend to be someone that I'm not. Are you? Alright, <laughs> let me stop before people start clicking off the fucking video because I'm not that type of person. So hey, welcome back ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Nintendo, hi, how you doing? It seems that, you know, your direct got leaked two days ago, and then yesterday, they're all like, it's confirmed, and then today, they're like, fucking, it's out, right? And yet again, I can't watch any of this shit live, because I have bills to pay, so I have to go to work. Um, yeah, so that sucks. But we're here, watching Nintendo Direct. Caught everybody by surprise. Somewhat, I guess. I mean... It got leaked, confirmed, and then thrown out within one week. So, whatever. Um, yeah. So, hey, guys. Uh, this is a weird intro. <laughs> um, before we get started into this, first of all, I'm watching this on my PlayStation 4 because I'm not hooking up my capture shit to my PC when I already have it hooked up to my PS4. It's just inconvenient. Second of all, fucking, um... Let's go through some predictions before uh, this shit actually gets started. So, let's start with real actual predictions. Fucking, uh, one thing that's been confirmed is that they're going to talk a lot about Fire Emblem, right, on the Switch. And uh, there's been news going around that they might talk about Metroid Prime Trilogy on Switch, which would be awesome. Because, you know, that is Metroid. Metroid is one of those things where it's like, I don't play it that much, but I still like it, right? Um, uh, other predictions is they're probably going to talk somewhat about Pokemon, right? The actual Pokemon game on Switch, uh, and Animal Crossing. Um, that's my dog. He just fucking, he's making noises. Hey, man, you okay? You good? Good dog, right? Okay. Um, uh, shit. I can't even say, like, I don't even know, really. I don't. They might just say like some ports and stuff, maybe like Mario Maker and shit, right? But let's get to the fun predictions, the ones that will probably never happen in a million years. First of all, World Ends with You Two is coming. Is coming, everyone. Get, get ready, get ready. It's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. It's gonna be all switches. It was crazy. Um, uh, something that I've been asking for for years, which will never happen because the last game came out in 2012. But you know. Maybe one day they'll stop making Teddy Ninja games. Fucking uh, Rune Factory 5, please. I know everyone likes Stardew Valley, but fuck you. Rune Factory's better. Fucking, I, I tried to play Stardew Valley to get my fix, but it didn't work. Right. Uh, what other fun predictions are there? Um, they're gonna they're gonna remake uh, uh Zelda. Ocarina of Time for the third time is going to be beautiful. It's going to be in 4K. Uh, There's going to be a VR attachment that you strap your Switch onto your face, and it's going to be great. All right, I think that's it. Oh, yeah, also, uh, I think there's been leaks going around that uh, Spyro might be ported to uh, Switch. Actually, you know what? Port those fucking HD collections, right? Collections. Did I say collections? My bad. Like, HD stuff like Wind Waker and fucking Twilight Princess and all that shit. Port it to the Switch. We need it. We need it. We need it. Because no one's going to get a fucking Wii U. You know, unless you already own a Wii U. Like me. No one's going to go out and get a fucking Wii U to play better versions of these good-ass games. So, whatever. Alright. Without further ado, let's get started with the Nintendo Direct. Bringing it directly to your penis. Right? Uh, click the play button. And, uh... D d <laughs> there we go. Now I'm going to put this cursor all the way over here. Yeah, I called it! Mario Maker! Oh, he's dead now. Fucking finally, Mario Maker, they put that shit on everything. I'm surprised it took you guys this long to put this shit out there. Honestly. Which would be cool because I'm not crazy interested in Mario. Mario World is like so good. Uh, I'm not crazy about Mario. I played Odyssey and stuff and I did a giveaway for that like fucking years ago. But, um, 
Oh, that's interesting. Okay. All right. Did not. Oh, my God. What the hell? The Mario 3D World engine is like May 2D? Okay. I, I've called it engine, but not really. You know what I mean? The assets of Mario, Mario World 3D. You can now uh, play that in 2D. Oh, uh, Luigi! Oh, shit. That's pretty cool. Oh, hey, it's Young Faces. What's up? It's Ice Cube Guy. Can you feel the Ice Cube in your controller? You just got your first look at the brand new sequel to Super Mario Maker, which we're of course calling Super Mario Maker 2. There will be brand new features, and many new elements are in development as we speak. So please stay tuned. All right, next, let's cover today's Nintendo Switch headlines. Can I be real for a moment? I'm loving the shirt he's wearing. For the first time in oh yeah, fucking uh, the Ultimate Alliance 3. The Black Order. Action RPG and an all -new original story. Nick Fury, Gamora, Iron Man, his group. Oh my god, X-Men, they're back guys. The X-Men can finally be here. To stop Thanos and the Black Order from unleashing cosmic chaos. You can play together in TV mode locally on up to four systems or online and get closer to the action with a dynamic who's developing this again this isn't the, like the marvel square enix thing right oh captain marvel you look weird with short hair like that okay it's not bad but you know i just never really saw captain marvel with the uh, short hair in addition to basic attacks and skills each hero has an alliance extreme attack, their most powerful move. Whether you join forces with friends locally or online, take teamwork to unprecedented levels as you create this looks awesome. Into synergy attacks. This looks awesome. Man, combined into an ultimate alliance extreme attack. The team of possibilities will be oh, is that the fucking they got the pets in there? The fucking uh, the super animals from uh, whatchamacallit in humans. Welcome back, Box Boy. Box Boy, that little Get indie game, right? And have fun doing it. Was this an indie game, or was this like a like a DSWare game? You know, I don't really remember. Is tightly packed with tons of content, including brand new puzzles and new features. We fit something else in too. Two player, yeah! This time, two players can box it up together. You got Box Boy and Band-Aid Girl. I mean, Box Boy and Ribbon Girl. Puzzles and beat those stages. After completing the story, you can access a whole separate adventure starring Cutie, the tall one. That's cool. Look at that. Oh, he's wearing glasses and shit. the highest in the series to date. Use your brain boxes to think outside the box and lead our heroes to the gold. Box Boy and Box Girl will unload on Nintendo Switch April 26th. The ultimate spring update. Oh shit, I forgot. Please tell me. Show me Joker. Show me Joker. I just want to I just want to know what he looks like in the damn game. Ultimate is about to spring forward with the version 3.0 update this spring. What are we adding, you ask? Stages. You'll just have to wait to find out. Fuck. Remember Joker is a part of Challenger. Oh, there he is! That's his in-game model. He's been preparing for battle, and his moment will finally come before the end of April. In other words, this year, springtime is the time to smash. And don't forget. Oh, you want to smash? You like that, girl? Oh my too. God, you crazy! There's even more to explore in Captain Toad Treasure Tracker. It's never too late for a journey through the maze-like miniature worlds of the Captain Toad Treasure Tracker game. In fact, we have two new announcements for the Nintendo Switch version. 
After free update. update. That's always All fun. Courses will support two player co -op. Oh, that's great. Toad won't be so nervous with someone at his side. Because like actual two player in that game is kind of crap. Hands goes a long way. This free update will be available later today. Oh, it's Toadette. Some paid downloadable content. Why can't I play with ba oh, Bowser? We're adding in 18 new challenges that'll see you traveling to five new courses, from sunken ships to a kingdom of sweets, and achieving new objectives in existing courses. You know what, I've been looking for some fun-ass two-player games to play on the Switch that's not Smash Brothers and Mario Kart and, uh, and, um, Snipper Clips, right? So this is gonna be really fun to do. The rest of the content will launch on March 14th. If you don't have the game yet, look out for... Can I just point out, he's a fucking mushroom named Toad. It's pretty fucking weird. ...the full game and gives you access to Captain Toad Treasure Tracker's special episode once it's available. Steal yourself for old school action in an You know what? I forgot castle. all about Bloodstain. The side-scrolling action of yore shall rise oh. more in Bloodstain Ritual of the Night. And so... The young lady Miriam, host of the Alchemist's Curse, must use her. I thought Bloodstain, Bloodstain was like a sprite-based game, right? I said sprite-based. You know what I mean? Fucking like, uh, you know, like pixely and shit. I didn't know it was like this. It's basically Symphony of the Night. It's like Symphony of the Night if it had like two more sequels. And small touches flesh out the campaign. <laughs> you get to sit down. I remember in uh, Symphony of Night with Alucard, you can sit down too. Oh, you can customize the character and shit? I haven't really been following Bloodstain, so I'm really surprised about this. This is nice. So the game's finally coming out. That's cool. Dragon Quest. Oh, wait, no. Dragon Quest Builders. <sighs> Never mind. Island, you'll ally yourself with the mysterious Malrod and defend your world from monstrous forces. Enlist villagers to help rebuild and fight alongside you in the story mode. Or like, people said Dragon Quest was a fun game, but like, I never really... I mean, not Dragon Quest. I know Dragon Quest is a fun game. I mean, like, Dragon Quest Builders. Uh, they said that was a fun game, but I never really, like, believe anyone. <laughs> right? Underwater and warp all over the new retro inspired map. If you own the previous game on the Nintendo Switch system, you can craft the legendary builder's outfit and the Dragon Lord's throne. Actually, I heard a lot of good things about Dragon Quest 11, so maybe this summer when I have time, I might just buy that and play that. There are more Nintendo Switch headlines to come, but first, a word from Mr. Koizumi. Well, how's it looking? Next. We have a new announcement for Was that a Metroid sound effect? RPG series. Please take a look. Oh no, that was a Fire Emblem sound effect. My bad, I'm sorry. There are RPGs, and then there's Dragon Quest, the series that defined the show. You know what? I do not know my video games. That was a Dragon Quest sound effect. I'm sorry. Pairing the series beloved style and I was just talking about Dragon Quest XI too. Most impressive scope and Man, can you believe that Android 17 got his own game? That's crazy. Darkness follows. For no one does this ring truer than the luminary, the boy that prophesies. Oh, that's a fucking scary looking baby. I would cry if that was my child. In an odd twist of fate, the boy's royal birthright is snatched from him. On the day he becomes an adult, he finally discovers his true heritage and the powers that make him the luminary. When he goes to the king, oh my god, Dr. Jerome's the king? Are you kidding me? So begins the perilous journey of a hunted hero and the ragtag band of adventurers who will join him on his quest to set things right. Together they'll explore the towns and terrain of the sprawling... So this is just like a... A, um, uh, whatchamacallit. They're porting it over to the Switch. Which is awesome! Because Dragon Quest on the go is a good thing. Especially if it's, you know, like... If it's, uh... What's the word I'm looking for? As you do, 
You'll earn skill points which can be used to teach if it's a uh, you know console like game to go kind of like the PS Vita but more successful man I fucking love my Vita I do looking for an item then help people out I just wish PlayStation loved the Vita too god damn it is full of surprises like these and this so I'm really happy that I didn't buy Dragon Quest yet because I want to see how this version of the game performs so that um this is also the first version of the game with fully orchestrated field and battle tunes oh so they they orchestrated the music okay sound and the new one whenever you want and you can also experience the journey with English or Japanese audio all right, that's a plus. Dual audio, that's great. <laughs> I remember when me and my friends jumped off a cliff. My mom was always like, if your friend jumped off a cliff, would you follow them? And I'm like, well, how high is the cliff? Right? That man is fabulous. I love it. I love everything about it. Yeah, so, I want to see how this game, uh, like, what's the performance on this game? I'm not like a, you know, graphics or anything like that, but if it actually performs pretty good on, like, handheld mode, and it, you know, and it's not like, and it doesn't, like, Xenoblade 2 it, you know, because so, when you play in handheld mode with Xenoblade 2, like, it all gets really fuzzy, which I mean, it's still a funny aim, but it's kind of a downer that everything's like fucking fuzzy looking. While we just announced the addition of these new stories. But yeah, I would like Dragon Quest on the go. That that's awesome. Please look forward to learning more. For now, let's continue with more Nintendo Switch headlines. A Disney Tsum Tsum game like you've never seen. What the fuck? These stuffed Disney toys took the world by storm, and now they're ready for an after-hours party at the toy store in Disney Tsum Tsum Festival. This must be like a really Japanese thing, because I do not remember these Disney toys whatsoever. Cooperative games that support up to four players. You can play online as well with players from around the world. They look so adorable. And you can't mention Disney Tsum Tsum without talking puzzles. You know what? I take that back because then I saw the human versions of, of those things and they look weird. The game also features a two player mode for local and online competitive matches. Disney Tsum Tsum Festival will steal our hearts in 2019. We're picking up a distress call in the Atlas. Starlink! I fucking forgot! It's far from friendly. Oh, I forgot. Was Starlink good? Oh my god, it's Pigma. Your daddy squealed real good. Now Peppy, Falco, oh my god. Falco Lombard. Look at the fucking slippy like the ass motherfucker. In a challenging new series of missions you can only find in the spring up. Who put their hands on my G diffuser? Every member of the Fox, help me. Fox. He's like, Fox, I got a bogey on my tail. And I'm like, good, die, you little bitch. And he's like, what? I'm like, no, I didn't mean that. But don't expect Wolf to play fair. Look forward to news on the rest of the additional content, such as starship races and faction missions. I love how Starlink is now Star just is Star them just, is Nintendo Atlas just going like, hey, we don't know how to make fucking we don't oh crops up what you gotta be kidding me. It's not five. It's not Room Factory five, but it's four. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yes. I'm so happy. Oh. Cook up a storm. Or even raise monsters. This fantastical circle of life will keep you coming back for more in Oh my fucking god. This is come on. Oh man. Battle alongside Yo, my heart skipped a beat. You can't do that. <laughs> what the fuck? I love you. What? It's Forte, man. Man. Oh. 
Give me more save files for this fucking game. Oh, it's animated now! I'm sorry, I'm probably making the audio go crazy, but holy shit. And... Oh, you gotta be fucking kidding me. Oh my god. Oh! It's been seven years! Literally seven years! I don't care about any other announcement in this fucking direct. What the fuck? Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. It's been seven years since the last one. And throughout the years, I've just constantly been telling like anyone who I think would like it, just give it a try. Oh my god. Oh shit. Don't worry, Dulci, baby. I'm coming back. Fucking. Oh my god. <laughs> now people will maybe understand that it's better than fucking uh, Stardew Valley. Because I tried to. I tried Stardew Valley. I really did. I gave it a good. Ass try, but oh my god, I don't care about any other fucking announcement in this fucking thing. And fuck you, Yoshi. I don't even damn. You know what that means? Oh my god, that's a. <laughs> I forgot what I was talking about before that shit even popped up. <laughs> Holy shit! Wow, that's just oh my god, that my dream, my dream. <laughs> Oh, man, I gotta make some calls now, and I gotta fucking, you know, the funny thing about it is that what I was planning to do in the future was get a 3DS capture card and actually do a, a playthrough of Rune Factory 4, right, and just have it go for like, you know, a long while, have that be a continuous thing on the channel, but fuck, but now there's no reason. I mean, there's still reason to get a 3DS capture card. There's games like fucking Kid Icarus Uprising and shit. But I mean, like, oh my god, that shit is just, whoo. Huh. Oh man, I gotta make some calls, because literally last year I had a discussion with someone that, like, that, listen, listen, it's gonna happen in, like, the next two years, right? I guess I also gotta go on Twitter and apologize to the person who runs the Marvelous account because I'm not gonna lie, for the past like two years, whenever they talked about Sega and Kagura and Titty Ninjas and stuff, fucking, uh, <laughs> I'm like, but what about Roof Factory, you know? And then the funny thing about it is that last month when I did that, you know, it's like one of the few shit post things, like, I don't care about Fire Emblem right now, I really don't. Actually, that's a lie. I care about Fire Emblem, so let me shut up. The continent of Fodlan, said to be protected by a revered goddess, has existed since time immemorial. Three ruling powers now control the land. In the south lies a region long held by a more than 1,000-year-old dynasty, the Adrestian Empire. Beyond its borders, to the frigid north, well, I mean, they do have subtitles, so I'm gonna just finish my story before I forget it. Fucking, uh, last month, uh, they put up a thing on the Marvelous Twitter account, and they're like, Hey guys, Story of Seasons, remember that? And I replied, and I was like, no, I don't. But Rune Factory 4, remember that? And then, for once, for once in my life, they replied to me, and they're like, huh, that does ring a bell. And then I was like, man, I think they finally got tired of my shit, of me constantly harassing them about it. In the Fire Emblem Three Houses game, you are the hero the world needs. You start out as a mercenary traveling with a group led by your father, Geralt. After an unexpected incident reveals an He just looks like fucking uh Yusuke from Persona 5. Where you'll receive an offer to teach at the officer's academy. Listen, I love Fire Emblem, but let's get down to nitty and gritty. How many people can I fuck? A mysterious girl right? Sophus, who appears within your mind. Oh, hey, Taki. What's up? Garig Mok Monastery lies at the center of three large territories. It is the home base of the Church of Saros, 
the main religion of Fodlan, as well as the Knights of Saros. Not only does the church serve to maintain order in Fodlan, its monastery also houses the Officers' Academy. Those who train there will go on to shoulder the future of Fodlan. The Officers' Academy is comprised of three houses. The yeah, you have Team Valor, Team Basic, Empire, and Team Instinct. The what? I'm sorry, what? What'd you say? Edelgard. My bad. A uh, Team, uh, whatever the, the fuck they're called. Blue people. Prince Dimitri of the Holy Kingdom of Fargus as its house leader. This house is for students from his kingdom. The Golden Deer is Ooh. for students from the Ooh, look at that pretty boy. Their house Ooh. Is Claude, Man, I'm not gay, but yo, I was, mm. Look at him. As a professor, forget about waifus. Move over. Holy shit. Them. In addition to the house leaders, that boy is pretty. Students to meet, each with their own unique personalities and it's, hey, look, it's female version of Aaron Yeager. Which house will you choose? That fucking, that is a pretty boy. Students are expected to travel to various lands, sometimes with the Knights of Saros themselves and gain real battle experience, including everything from defeating bandits to suppressing rebellions. These may be class assignments, but the stakes in each battle are very real. Whether your students live or die will depend on your leadership. Strategize as the battle progresses to claim- You know, what's really interesting about Fire Emblem is, like, I've seen a lot of shit on it, and the permadeath stuff is really fucking cool. But I never actually sat down and played the Fire Emblem game, so I'm really, really excited for this one. Right? I wanted to get the ones on the 3DS and stuff, but I just never really had time to go out and, like, buy it or play it or anything like that. I had some friends who did that, and I asked them if it was, like, good, and they said, yeah, they had a fun time with it. to guide each of them and help them hone their abilities. Through combat experience and study, you can help your students reach their full potential. Your students can also interact with each other at the academy, and by doing that so, man got freckles. their bonds will strengthen, and they'll be able to better support each other on the battlefield. What just happened? Did that man just pull a fucking shulk? Did he foresee the future? Look at that fucking pretty boy. Man, that boy is so pretty. Three territories. Three houses. Your very own journey. Fire Emblem Three Houses will release on July 26th. Oh, that's not that far away, actually. Ooh, complete with art book, soundtrack, steelbook. Great. So, how does it look? It looks great, man. We announced that Fire Emblem Three Houses would release this spring, but more development time will be necessary. And so the new release date is July 26th. That means we'll have to ask you to wait a little longer. No, that's all right, man. Fucking, it's cool. Polish that game up. Time for some more Nintendo Switch headlines. In this next entry of this iconic series, the last player standing wins. Tetris. 99 players. Hang on, 99 blocks, but a uh, Tetris 8 won. This is. Tetris Royale. Tetris 99. The iconic puzzle game arrives with an online experience like no other. Nintendo Switch Online members can battle for dominance in this free to download game. What if we had Battle Royale, but it was Tetris? You're attacked with garbage. Attack back to defeat the other 98 players and become the sole survivor. I swear, it's literally Battle Royale Tetris. Nintendo Switch Online members. Be ready to join the fight. Actually, Nintendo's online, like, I have it. That shit's been very, very good. I've had, like, throughout, like, the whole entire year of me having it. Fucking, uh, ooh, Dead by Daylight. Throughout the whole entire year of me having, like, Nintendo online, it, oh, that looks like shit. 
struggling to survive. Oh, that looks terrible. Survivor, but it's too late. The killer is upon you. Now run. Hide. Oh. items. Open the gates and escape with your life. Or take on the role of the killer to make the so-called survivors your next victims. Terrifying? Oh yes. Satisfying? Just you wait. With loads of maps. Oh my caps, god, that looks like shit. Medics to earn. You'll experience a deep progression system. But what I was saying was that um being hunted. Discover the truth Shit, what was I saying? This shit took me by surprise. That is, that looks like shit. Uh This dog will ruin Oh my day. fucking god. Wait, ruin? Ruinscape? I mean not ruinscape. Fucking uh Delta Ruins going to be on the Switch? A new experience by Toby Fox. Oh, yeah, it's just Delta Ruin in Chapter 1. A <laughs> censored spoiler free trailer. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh my god, look at this awesome scene! <laughs> oh, that's great. Well, of course it's gonna be for free. If you fucking tell me to pay for the goddamn <laughs> more chapters, not for free. I forgot about Demon X Machina. Shit. But what what the fuck was I talking about before the Dead by Daylight thing? Hello everyone. I'm Fucking I I don't I don't remember. Like literally how bad that game looks. Fucking just fucking stunned me. But in the demo, you can battle through four different missions while exploring the basic controls and customizations of your personal mech known as an arsenal. You can also experience a boss battle in the final mission, so please try it out. Okay, that's cool. After playing the demo, we'd like to hear your feedback. We'll be conducting a short online survey by sending an email invite to some players who try out prototype mission. If you weren't selected for the survey, Who's making this game again? Is this is this a game by Monolith? I don't think this is Monolith Soft. Who who's making this fucking game again? We have more to say about Damon X Machina, so please follow the official Nintendo of America Twitter account so you can stay up to date on the latest information. Damon X Machina should be launching this summer. With that in mind, the development team is working hard right now, so please stay tuned. Realistic racing is headed Oh my god, fighting Beach. cars. Grid Autosport comes Man, I love cars. They're so good. And a I fucking love cars. You'll feel like a pro racer as you master the world's fastest That's my cars favorite JoJo villain, cars. Races. From the prestigious circuit of Spa-Francorchamps to the narrow city streets of <coughs> All DLC is included with mm. 100 cars. What I had to cough. Service. It was it was and very loud. Additions like motion controls and custom controls. Players can race online or locally, and two players can race split screen on a single system. From street racing to demolition derby. Hey man, the only racing Red game that I really like is is Crash Team Racing and and Mario Kart. Enter the Viking Age to experience. Oh, this is not gonna look good. Or for the very first time. Oh. Created in collaboration huh. with neuroscientists. Actually, it doesn't look that bad. Psychosis. At least it doesn't look as shit as Dead by Daylight, because I mean, come this on. This Celtic warrior will embark on a haunting vision quest through Viking Hell to fight for the soul of her dead lover. Hellblade has won multiple awards, including BAFTAs for performance, audio and artistic achievement, British Game, and Game Beyond Entertainment. Find out why when Hellblade Senua's Sacrifice releases on Nintendo Switch this spring. The Nintendo Switch lineup just keeps getting stronger. Mortal Kombat. Oh 11. shit. The saga 25 years in the telling is far from over. With all new custom character variations, plus new characters and returning veterans taking up the fight. In a fresh new adventure, Unravel 2 sees players take control of two adorable Yarnies. Control both Yarnies on your own in single player, or play with a friend in local co-op. 
for some puzzling platforming fun when Unravel 2 I fucking love Yarny. He's the best. For the first time on Ooh! That frame rate! Ooh! That don't look too good! Ooh! Poppin' textures! Oh my god! Explore one of the most iconic Man, I draw a distance. It don't look real. Oh my god. Usher in the rise of a nation. All the original downloadable content, plus the entire standalone game, Assassin's Creed oh. Remastered, will be included when they launch together on May 21st. I mean, Liberty will probably look good, right? Oh, yay. Better open your calendars. They finally put it on the Switch, which is awesome. That game on the go? Holy shit. Actually, I would like to do a Final Fantasy play, Final Fantasy 7 playthrough before like the remake We're pleased to like comes out. That Final Fantasy 9 will journey onto Nintendo Switch later today. Once a classic, Ooh. always a classic. That's cool. That's all for today's Nintendo Switch headlines. How's everything looking? Well, we have a bit more to share in this Nintendo Direct. Please stay with us until the end. Let's take a look, shall we? Alright, one last thing they're doing. Excuse me? Shibangami Tensei 5! Actually, I don't know. If, is this Shibangami Tensei 5? I would cry. Excuse me, what is this? A game made by Platinum. I don't know. This looks great. Ooh, frame rate. Frame rate. Oh wait, no, fuck. Get out of here, Black Ops 4. Are you kidding me? That probably wasn't even the frame rate doing that. It was probably that stupid ass update. Fucking Black Ops 4. This looks really interesting. You people are leading all of humanity straight to damnation. Straight to damnation? You're the terrorist here! You don't understand. My heart goes out to you too. All because of how you were born. Doomed to be used. Oh my god, this looks fucking amazing. Holy shit. This is like if Freedom Wars had, like, so much money behind it. We're ready for the final stage. What the hell are they? Why did you make them? Hideki Kamiya. Oh, it's from... So it is made by Platinum, yeah? No? It's not made by Platinum. Yeah, it is! Yeah, motherfucker! Yeah! What you just witnessed is Astral Chain, a brand new action game in development at Platinum Games. It looked like two characters were fighting together. But what happened to Bayonetta 3, though? What about that? I hope you're excited to learn more about how combat will play out in this game. Please stay tuned. And speaking of Platinum Games, I'm sure you're very curious about Bayonetta 3. Oh my god, you motherfucker. Sure, developers of Bayonetta 3 are hard at work, and I hope you're looking forward to learning more. I literally just went like, what about Bayonetta 3 though? Please, check it out. Ooh. Animated cutscenes? Excuse me? Bayonetta is now getting an animated series. Oh, wait, what? Wait a minute! Is this Link to the Past? Not Link to the Past, uh, fucking, um... Link's Awakening? Link finally gets a TV show. Link, my bad. Zelda finally gets a TV show. Oh my god. People are gonna lose their fucking shit. Oh my god. Holy shit. Oh my god. 
Oh, Link's very... Oh my god, I didn't think that would look like that. It's not bad, but... Hmm. That's a interesting art style to take that with, but I mean, it's whatever, man. It looks great. I mean, it's a great fucking game. Oh my god, they uh, redid the music. So, what did you think? At long last, 1993's Game Boy Classic, The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. We'll find new life on Nintendo Switch. Well, I mean, it's not my prediction of Ocarina of Time getting remade. I'd rather have Majora's Mask have, like, a really big remake. Yes, I know there's one on the 3DS, but I mean, like, like that fake Wii U trailer thing they had years ago. Like, man, it would have been awesome. So we're done now. Okay. We're finished? Alright, let me just... Fucking wait for that to load, and then I'm gonna pause that because I Nintendo's gonna hurt me. All right, there we go. Man, that was very entertaining. And honestly, first of all, nice to hear that Bayonetta Three is coming along smoothly. That's great. Second of all, that game looks fucking awesome. Astral Chain. Uh, maybe I might buy Starlink. You know, that lo that looks cool, too. I did not expect them to, uh, do a remake for uh, Link's Awakening. Which, I'm not mad about or anything. It's just fine. You know, it's kind of a unique art style choice. But, you know, it's not bad. I like it. It's pretty cool. That game is fucking amazing. Holy shit. But... Fuck what you heard. Fuck all that shit. Move aside, bitches, right? <sighs> Fucking. <laughs> oh, man. Rune Factory's back. <laughs> I literally have all the games. I have 1, 2, 3, 4. I have Tides of Destiny. Both a PS3 version and a Wii version. And I have Rune Factory Frontier. Like... Come on, guys. Come on. I've been waiting. Oh, man. Oh, man. I just gotta... Whew. <laughs> man. I don't... Like, my mind is fucked right now. So, I mean... <laughs> usually I would sit here and discuss... Actually, I'm surprised... That, uh, no word about Pokemon or, or, uh, fucking, um, Animal Crossing, right? Especially Animal Crossing, because there's a lot of people who want that more than Pokemon right now, to be honest. Um, and, uh, I'm happy I got to see an in-game model for Joker. At least once. I just want to know what he fucking looks like. You don't have to show me his moveset or nothing. I'm going to fucking buy it regardless. Um, but yeah, that's pretty awesome. You know what? That will probably... That release will probably coincide with like the whole Persona 5 R thing. Whatever the fuck that's going to be. Um, fuck, man. Fire Emblem looks awesome. That's one pretty black boy. I'm not going to lie. That black boy was pretty. That's a pretty boy, right? But well, I never saw an anime character so fucking pretty, right? Oh, shit. I'm surprised there was no Spyro trilogy thing. Uh, they didn't say anything about Metroid. But we did get Mario Maker, so that's cool, right? Um, I mean, like, honestly, I can wait for Metroid. If you, With all the shit they just announced, I can wait for Metroid. You know, I, I really don't give a... I don't care that much. I mean, I'm going to be playing Room Factory, right? Um, the uh, Captain Toad shit looks awesome. It's nice to have an actual proper two-player mode in that now. Uh, because from what I've seen, it, there wasn't one. There's was just like one person controls Captain Toad while the other person controls the camera, right? And it's like, look, you're playing, right? Um, 
man, usually I would sit down here and like have like a whole little discussion or whatever, but I mean, you, you kind of see what I thought about all of this. This was a pretty good Nintendo Direct. Actually so good that I'm not really that excited for E3 this year when I think about it, but that's a story for another day. Especially since, like, PlayStation is going to, like, kind of skimp out E3. You know, I guess E3 is just going to be 100% uh, Xbox time. Time for them to shine, right? You know, and uh, maybe Nintendo, but Nintendo's already shining. So they don't really fucking need E3, to be honest. They're, they have a bunch of shit announced. On top of this, you also got, like, Luigi Mansion uh, 3 and uh, shit like that, so... Yeah, Starlink's looking good every day. Might as well just partner up with the people who make Starlink and just make a new Star Fox game. Just make an actual new Star Fox game. Just do it. Like, Star Fox Zero was, depending on your taste, it was it was either bad or it was, like, really fun, right? But, you know, overall, not that many people really liked Star Fox Zero. Um, but, man, fucking... Nintendo, you're fucking, you're killing it, and fuck, uh, what you call it? Fucking Dragon Quest Eleven's getting ported there, with like new shit added on to it, which is crazy, and oh my god, I fuck like, oh, I'm gonna like, I'm literally, I'm gonna have a moment to myself after this fucking video because. The amount of times that I have waited and like within like 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 four months would go by and then I'll just pull out my phone and I'm like nothing new about Rune Factory yet. You know? Last thing I heard was that what? Who wh which one went out of business? Was it Natsume or Neverland? I think it was Neverland that went bankrupt and they were the main people behind Rune Factory and then Marvelous got the title for it. And then after that, um like, the announcement was, yes, we're, we're still going to work on Rune Factory, whatever, whatever. But that was said years ago. And fucking, man. And, like, then you have, like, for years I've been looking for something to just replace that feeling. Because the new Harvest Moon that came out is just fucking shit. It's bad. It's terrible. It's fucking, like, a shitty mobile game. Like, a really, really shitty mobile game. Fuck, it's like, Harvest Moon is a fucking decrepit shell of its former self. Rune Factory was inspired by Harvest Moon and added with more elements onto it, so there was more shit to do, right? So, like, Rune Factory's awesome for that. I, I love Rune Factory to death. My first one was Rune Factory 1, and <laughs> Raguna, I love you, you motherfucker, right? Um... And it's like, man, fuck. I tried. I tried to look for things over the years to, like, quench my thirst for a farming simulator with, you know, all that other crazy shit. I'm not really that crazy about Minecraft. All right. Terraria is pretty lame to me in, in my, you know, in my opinion. A lot of people said a lot of stuff about Stardew Valley, so I got excited for that, and then I bought it, and then I played it, and I was like, man, there's fun elements here, but all the characters are just really fucking plain. They have no life to them. You go to the village, and you're like, hey guys, my name is so-and-so, and they're like, fuck you, don't talk to me, bye, right? And that's literally like half the villagers in that goddamn game. And then later on, they don't even, like, they don't really change that much. There's nothing that changes about them. There's no, there's no, like, you know, there's no events that go on. But unlike Rune Factory, there's, like, a hundred of events that happen in Rune Factory 4. And then on top of that, there's, like, the whole event that happens when you get to a certain point And then you can propose to the characters and stuff like that. And then forget about that. All the farming shit is great. The world is great. The fighting system is fun. The music is awesome. Like, it, it's a, it's such a good game. And the characters interact with one another, like, too. Like, you can witness that rather than them interacting with you. So, 
like from Moving Factory 3 and up, that's fucking amazing, right? Um, Room Factory 5, oh my god, that's fuck. What are you gonna do for that? Right? I know I'm talking about Room Factory a lot, but what are you honestly gonna do for that? Because I can sit here and talk about Room Factory for days. You know what? That might be a video for another time. Who knows? I'm not gonna waste your time anymore talking about it. But all I know is without a doubt, that is... The most fucking exciting thing I, I've ever thought about. Actually, now that I think about it, fucking, uh, yeah, no, never mind. I, I thought I didn't mention it, but I did. I mentioned the whole Twitter thing fucking, like, a month ago. <laughs> Marvelous got the balls and fucking replied to me, and they said, yeah, I do remember that. And I was like, oh, oh no, they're, huh, I'm a back down now, right? Because maybe I'm an asshole and they're tired of my shit. But honestly, that reply probably happened because the person who ran that Twitter account knew some shit. Right? They are like, yeah, I do. Mm, that does ring a bell. Right? You know? But holy shit. All right. But, man, for those of you who stayed till the end of this video, thank you for watching. Uh, Nintendo's fucking killing it. They're killing it. In the comment section below... Tell me what the fuck, tell me what you're like, like even past Nintendo Directs, tell me what you're really looking forward to, whether it's like old things they talked about before, like Metroid Prime or Bayonetta 3 or like, or like, um, or that Towns RPG that we really haven't got that much news about, you know, or like Pokemon or something or, or Animal Crossing, or just tell me if like, uh, you like any of the shit you see here, tell me if you really, honestly, if you like Rune Factory like I do, one of my favorite series in gaming, just fucking tell me what your favorite one is, and maybe tell me your favorite moment from that game, because also, last year, not last year, 2016, Japan released like a collection of Rune Factory 3 and 4, and they called it like Platinum Edition or something like that, so... A part of me knew that Room Factory wasn't dead. But, like, man. Yeah, so, you know, hit the comics. Comics? Yeah, DC Comics. Hit the comments. You know, tell me what you're excited for. Tell me tell me what you're... If, please, just talk to me about Room Factory. I need someone in my life right now. Fucking, um... <laughs> you know... Uh, you know, as always... Link to my Twitter is in the description. My DMs are open. I'm I'm a, I'm a pretty open guy, so if you ever want to like send me a direct message or anything and just like talk in general, you can do that. Um, I may not get to you automatically, but I'm always reading that shit, right? Um, did I say automatically? You know what I mean. Fucking yeah! Like, comment, subscribe. If you haven't hit that bell for notifications, please do that because YouTube is fucked. And, yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say, and as always, oh yeah, also, there's a lot of shit that's gonna come out for the Persona 4 playthrough, like, <laughs> in a couple of days, there's, like, I have a lot of recordings saved up, so if you haven't started watching that, please just go watch that, because I'm having a blast playing that game, right, and I'm playing it on the, like, hardest difficulty, because I'm an asshole, right, but, um, yeah, as always, I want to thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next video. I'm a chef, chef too.